we here live at Prince's res residence here in Minnesota, and I'm here with the gentleman, Mr. Antonio, um, who's going to be talking to us about Prince. So welcome right. to the show, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so just tell us, what do you know about Prince? Tell us a little bit about Prince, the, the great man himself. So the thing about Prince in my in my mind is that he was the full the full thing about an artist. To be an artist, you could you could be a little bit little bit of an artistic uh, part of something of a movie, of an acting show, or even of a piece of music. If a writer can write the music, but the thing about Prince is that he did the whole thing. Okay. He, he was a unique artist uh, that did everything. Um, that he was supposed to do. You know, he created his music, he had his own unique style. That no one else, very few tried to imitate, but no one else had it, had it as good as he had it. Okay. He, his talent actually allowed him to do all of that. Uh, and because of that, he became such an icon for, for the world, Minnesota itself, you know. One of the things I respect the most is that he was a, he was a, a, a local. He, he believed that it was better to live here in the you know middle of uh, the north woods not in la not los angeles somewhere where he was from and that's very unique you know many other artists immigrate and go to where where the business is located uh he did he you know he wanted to be his own his own show and he created his own show I did go to one of his biggest shows uh, locally here in Minneapolis. Okay. Um, it, was a, it was it was a hit. I never, you know, I'm from Mexico. You know, okay. we hear of Prince. And when I was a kid, I listened to his music, but didn't know much about him, about him until yeah. I moved here about 15, 16 years ago. And that's when you know I realized you know, how good he was. And when I saw the show, I saw the true talent. You know, he wow. was a good dancer, a good performer. He just he was a showman. And that's what you want when you want to go see exactly. someone performing. Exactly. I mean, you, you've been a, been a local. I mean, do you know any about anything that he's done in the community, you know, in, in the States to kind of like, you know, um, make that difference and impact other people's lives or whatever it is? I believe what his impact to the community was um, that he was part of the community. I don't think you can do better than that. You, yeah, you, can, exactly. give, you can give money. You can give presence, you can give records, you can give guitars with autographs. But the presence to the community is that he was just a, someone like us, just walking around, biking around. Uh, you could see him in his, you know, downtown Minneapolis just going for a steak. People wow. sightseeing him and be like, oh yeah, this prince it's having a steak. Wow. Like, well, it's, it's out of nowhere. And, and something you hardly find. Some, it's something not common you, amongst all the celebrities. You don't find it yeah. unless you're surrounded by, you know, a group of uh, uh, people watching over your back. Yeah. Uh, I believe he was. That was unique. He he was part of the people. He was part of the uh, of of the Minnesota thing. Um, and he just you could tell that he loved being who he was. He was he was a perfect uh, on on, on many levels of uh, in his work. You know what he did it was it was very unique. Many artists are as good as him, Michael Jackson, and all those big stars that, that have left us too soon. Uh, they they did leave the mark. You know the reputation is one thing. It's your personal life is another story. Yeah. The thing about Prince is that you know he didn't care. He couldn't care less if somebody judged him different because he had high heels exactly or he wear makeup or you know no. we all do it sometime in our lives we do yeah. different things and that's what makes it unique for someone like prince and uh, to put it into perspective there's a lot of people to try to to go that route lady gaga yeah. is yeah. going that yeah. route you yeah. know yeah. you want to you, you want the good publicity being if you're bad or, or good that's publicity yes it is that's, that's what you is. get yeah. I mean, I know you said you're from Mexico initially. Um, um, I know you said you're from Mexico earlier, but um, you, you've been living in, in Minnesota. Right. What's that feeling? I know you're gonna. You, you should be very proud to see someone who's a local, someone who lives in the state, in the same state as you live. Right. Um, just creating a lot of impact around the world with the music. What's that feeling like? It's it's proud. You feel proud, even though I'm I'm not a local by birth. Yeah. But I adjusted to this place. Yeah. But I have my family lives here. Yeah. Uh, friends, uh, you know, 
co-workers and you know yeah. that's my community is here I live here now exactly. even though if I go back home yeah. so what I'll, I keep coming back here, keep coming back here. Exactly. so I, I, I don't believe I'm a local yet it takes a long time and I love a lot of learning but I'm adjusting to it I'm, I'm loving it um, and having someone like him in, in the neighborhood as we call it it's, you know, it makes you proud. It makes you yeah. proud that somebody stick around for, the, for for everything, not just not just when you you know when you record records. He yeah. did, and his own. He, he didn't have to fly to LA to record anything. No. He had it right here exactly. on his back there. And then and then and then when, once we're driving over here, some of the details that some of the concerts he did them just right in. Yes, the right in here. Many times, um, one time after the concert that I that I went in uh, in, in, yeah. in Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. He had. He was gonna have an after show, and it was gonna be here. And he invited people from the concert. Like we're gonna have our after party at Pisley Park. They're gonna be okay. here. So we drove. It was so many people. The whole thing was blocked. Nowhere to park. Lines of people trying to get in. And it was like one in the morning, two in the morning. Oh wow! It was already really late for us to be out here so far away and be like, do we wait or do we go? We end up leaving. There was so many people, no way we could get in. But it was one of those things, you know, after the concert, no one else can invite you to their private party exactly. because they have to fly somewhere else or they have to rest for the next show. Yeah. He wasn't. He wanted to continue the party. He wanted to do it his way and he did it. And just, and just kind of connect with his fans and have a special Have a special connection, connection even though exactly. you cannot feed so many people here. But you, can, but you can try. At least he tried. He tried all those good things for the community. And for the locals, and you know, I respect the locals. They gave him to, so much love, and he gave so much love back. back them, yeah. And regardless of the color of your skin, or my skin, or their skin, where they came from, everybody was invited. He didn't look into that, and that was I one know. of the things that I that, that I respect from an artist. Which is good. Which is a good thing. It's a great thing. It's a, it's a thing, great yeah. thing coming from another country, speaking yeah. a different language. I, you know, I want to be accepted as who I am. Exactly. I don't want them to tell me how to behave and how to talk. Exactly. And when somebody like that accepts you just because they say, hey, come, come to my party, I don't care who you are or where you I came know. from, just show up and have a, have a good time. So tell us about, um, this, what happened is I know a lot of people, millions of people from around from across the world, you know, when they heard the news that Prince is passed right. away, it was, it was shocking, you know, it was heartbroken for a lot of people. Tell us more that feeling like for you people who live in Minnesota, the people who follow his, follow his music, follow his work, you know, what's, what's, what's that feeling like? How do, how do you feel? It's one of those things that you don't want to believe at the beginning, but then eventually, you know, when you see cameras and pictures following media, everybody talking about it, then you start to believe, start sticking in. Uh, but, but, you know, the hardest part is to, to believe that somebody as talented as him Michael Jackson and uh, you know David Bowie, all those big names. Yeah. They keep creating great music throughout the years. They, they're only getting better. Exactly. And yeah. by 57, his age was it's just too young. Yeah. And he has so much, so, so much awful. experience yeah. to put out on the table for 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 the world and for the music you know, industry. Uh, and all that music that is is not going to be you know created is 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 is, is no longer here. It's not gonna be here, and it's not gonna be created because, because he's no more. He's no longer here, yeah. and 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 that's exactly the same story with many other artists that left us so early. Again, Michael Jackson is one of the recent ones, a big name, um, and it's just so hard because there's so much talent, there's so much they can offer, and yeah, there's the personal problems of the life and the oh. issues that they, it comes with the package of being an artist and being on the uh, and the, the spotlight 24/7. You know, you have to create a balance, and if you have, if you can do that, you, you you can live long. But many times, it's just it's so hard to believe that people like that, and especially when they find out exactly why, what was the reason of his death, then it, that hurts even more. Exactly. Just trying to understand, you know, we all go through pain in our physical body, and we try to deal with it the best that we can. And then, and then, and then it's also it's also horrible when people don't seem to know exactly what these people go through and then they judge them just they judge based on what they see what or they what see they, what they fear yeah and, and that's really negative and you, you just gotta 
you gotta see them and you gotta you gotta understand that person a little better and again who we are to judge you know people can judge us for whatever we, decisions we make maybe right or wrong but at the end of the night if you're doing something positive for for everything for the community for yourself for your family for, for the music industry